So Dr. Fader, we so happy to have you here today. Um, tell us who you are and what you do. I'm Pete Fader, Professor of Marketing at the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania in the USA. Uh, and while I study marketing, we all understand that topic as a whole. My particular specialization in it is building predictive models to try to understand who's going to do what when, uh, what a customer's worth, and what kinds of things a company should be doing in order to build uh, a more profitable customer base and find ways to grow through focusing on customers more than focusing on the products. Yeah, makes sense, right? So you talk here today about customer centricity and customer lifetime value. Uh, could you give us your key outtake or the most important lesson from that speech? Well, clearly the most important lesson is that not all customers are created equal. You know, back in the old days when we just started marketing, we just would try to come up with, with ideas, products, messages that would be broadly appealing. Will it make sense to the average customer? And back in a day when we couldn't really tell customers apart, that was the best we could do. We didn't know that there was more than that. But today, now that we see the granular data, now that we can track individual customers and project what they're going to do over time, we see how incredibly different they are from each other. And to some marketers, that's a nuisance, that's bad. Like, oh my goodness, how are we going to make them all happy? And the answer is, <laughs> yeah. that's right, but the, 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 the answer is to spread that effort out unevenly. That some customers are just inherently more valuable, they're a better fit with us, that they just, they're just more aligned to the kinds of products we offer, services, just what this company's all about. So why are we spending all of our effort just on the kind of average customer when there's these really good ones here? So let's figure out who they are, let's figure out what else we can do with them and for them to make them even more valuable. Let's figure out what makes them different so that we can acquire more customers like them. Yeah. So it's those ideas of recognizing and really fully leveraging the differences across the customers. That's what this customer centricity stuff's all about. It's hard to do, but if you can do it well, you can potentially make more money than if you just focus on the product all yeah. the time. Yeah, very good. So find your best customer and then focus on them. That's right, okay. and find more like them.